Selamat pagi. Good morning. Buongiorno. How are you guys? Welcome to my coffee bar. It's my new coffee bar. As you can see, it's it's been a year. I'm trying to put some effort. As you can see, I'm trying to make it as pretty as as pretty as possible. And now I think that's about everything I can do. So as usual in the morning, you wanna heat up with your porta filter, and then I would purge out some coffee as well. This grinder certainly does come with retention, so you wanna purge out the leftover coffee that was yesterday stuck inside the system. You just want to grind a very fresh coffee. Now for this one, I like to use 17 grams of coffee. So you remember, you really need a scale. Without a scale, it's very difficult to to have a consistent result. And now I'm using a bottomless porta filter. This is PLA 570S. Check it out. We do have it at stock. In stock. I mean, WDT is a must, I would say. This is not exactly the best grinder, but it does able to grind super fine. And this one, another tools that I strongly suggest PLA 571R pack screen yes 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 pack screen anyway we're gonna give you for free this one will help you to have a much cleaner group head after shot and it does help to kind of disperse the hot water onto your pack evenly and you're gonna always have a very even this extraction I'm loving it I can I can stand here all day long just to look at this beautiful bottomless extraction by the way this seems like really really slow I think we grind it too fine. I'm aiming for 34 grams. So, typical traditional espresso 1 to 2 ratio. Now, as I press the steam mode, the lights are on. That means the heating element is working. That's how it works in Anita. And when it's off, you can see it stop blinking, the left one. That means steam is ready. Here I'm weighing 140 milliliter milk. As usual, perch, 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 because you want to get rid of the water. Now, you know, open it, open to the max. Now, as you can see, the light is off. That means heating element is off. Now, you can, you will suddenly feel as if the steam power is super sluggish. That's normal. You will see heating element will start to work again. And we will have much stronger steam pressure. We'll give you that vortex effect effect that you want yeah I like it I remember some milk pitcher thinner and makes you think that it's hot enough uh, you know world-class barista will always tell you when it's too hot count to three and close the valve well that's not the case for us home barista 
it's best that you do some calibration. Now, as you can see here, when I switch off the steam mode, then I will run hot water from the group head until water comes out. That way, I will preserve the heating element and boiler. Remember that that part is super important. Okay, not just perch out the steam, steam one. Now let me try to work this out. Now, this one I believe, yeah, steam result wasn't wasn't that good, but it was it was okay. Now let me try. Let me show you this with Anna. Somehow I think Anna is slightly better or maybe just these two machine. I don't see any reason really. They should be just the same. Anita is just slightly bigger because it has built-in grinder. The rest is just the same. Well, this Anita comes with PID so it's easier for you to see. Look at that, the temperature drops. And so is the steam power but once it reaches 115 heating element will be activated again and you can see this machine actually works the other way around from Anita when the heating element is on the light indicator is off Now, as you can see, we're having stronger and stronger. So in this machine, Anna, actually, when it's at a ideal temperature for steaming, indicator will be lit. Now, as you can see, it's, it's, it's on the light. The red light is on. That means the heating element has stopped working and it's ready to steam. It's really the opposite side of Anita. And as usual, once you switch back to coffee mode, it's best to run the pump until water comes out from the group head. Just to make sure that your boiler is filled up to the ideal level and it will not burn your heating element. We don't want that burn smell all the time. Well, let me try again, okay? Try. Remember, latte art is 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 a process. You don't think that all the latte art people, the latte art champion, they just happen to be good in one night. No, no, no. I'm sure it takes them years practice another day another day in paradise you know this one is with Anita I believe try my best it's not perfect but it's getting better every day and this is just exactly what makes me excited about I can't wait for my next coffee session to practice my latte art as well and I hope I can do better and better every time yep I think this time is latte foam is so thick uh, the foam is so thin yeah man I kind of finish all my coffee normally once I've done it I don't know why I just find it too nice to, to stop and I prefer to drink it while it's hot it just feels so good yeah trust me that's all I hope you like this video as I'm using smart plug I mean, I'm gonna turn off everything with my handphone. I'll see you guys again in the next video. Ciao.